Okay, this week we begin with a few assignments where you will need to submit work to me. So most of the homework is completely automatically graded uh, straight on my math lab, but I have added a few problems where I'd like to actually see your work uh, and be able to grade your work. So the second assignment for this week, limit definition, uh, are problems like that. So if we click on that link, uh, you can see their essay answers. So when I click question one here, uh, it pops up. Uh, here it says use the limit definition to find the derivative of the function. So the first example here was x cubed. Uh, show your work. Uh, you have two choices here. You can just enter your work uh, using the equation editor below, which I'm actually going to show you here in a moment or two how to use that how to use the equation editor to type in formulas. Or if you prefer, uh, you can write the answers out on paper, uh, take a screenshot and email it to me, and then I'll go through and uh, score your uh, assignment from that work. You don't have to actually put work into the, uh, uh, into the actual homework then, if you do it that way. But it's pretty easy to use the equation editor, so uh, once you get the hang of it, it's something you can do pretty quickly. Uh, a lot of things are kind of naturally, like for fractions, you just use the division bar, which on a keyboard is right above the number 8. Or uh, it's the button that's also right by the shift key with the question mark on it. Uh, for powers, you use shift 6 uh, for the caret symbol. Those are the most common ones. The rest of them you can kind of pull off of the menu. So I want to show you here, I'm not going to work out the derivative of f of x equals x cubed. Uh, but I will uh, work out one here and show you kind of how you would type it in and explain how it works. And if you find you have other questions about this, please uh, email me. So taking a look here as we get into the uh, essay part, we want to insert formula. So I'm going to come in here. And instead of doing derivative of x cubed, I'm going to do the derivative of x squared. So I'm just going to put my x squared function in there so you know which function I'm talking about here. All right, and then I'm just going to come down here. What's the derivative? Well, f prime, f prime. So let me get my equation back out here, insert formula. f prime of x is the limit. Now, you can't actually type in the whole limit thing, so just write in LIM, L -I -M, that's fine. Uh, now, when you try to deal with a fraction, it gets a little annoying. So what I typically do is fraction bar and then come in front of the fraction bar and type limit. And then remember limit is just f of x plus f of x plus h minus f of x. A lot of that you can just type in as it is uh, all over h. All right, and then I'm going to plug in my x squared function. So again I'm just going to hit the backslash for the fraction bar, type in limit in front and then plug in my x squared function. So that would be parentheses x plus h and then shift 6 for exponent. Uh, use my arrow key to come down minus x squared and shift 6 uh, all over h. Um, if you need uh, any of the functions here, if you click the little uh, drop down here, it'll pull up the symbols. Uh, you can see there's your fraction bar. Uh, it even tells you the shortcut key for it. Uh, there's your absolute value. There's actually a shortcut for that too, but uh, and then square root, uh, if you need something with a square root. Uh, if you need more options, you click more and it pops up all the symbols, many of which we really won't be needing. The most common ones for us are going to be the fraction bar square root, uh, maybe a cube root or a fourth root or something like that. Those would be the ones you'd mostly be using, along with the exponent key, which again, you can do is uh, shift six uh, for the exponent key. And for the most part right now, that's pretty much all we're going to be doing. Uh, many of these other things here, again, we're not going to type in the full blown limit stuff. So because uh, it just, uh, it can probably be done uh, in some fancy way, uh, but it's best to just, we're just not going to worry about it. 
Okay, and so uh, here I can just continue simplifying. So uh, again, I'm going to do my fraction bar first. Type in limit in front. Again, don't worry about limit as x. It's really limit as h goes to zero, but it's hard to type that in. Uh, so we won't worry about that. Okay, and then uh, we simplify here. X plus h squared will be x squared. So again, f uh, shift six plus two x h plus h squared. All right, and then that's minus x squared, and then that's all over h. This is one that's actually worked out in the notes uh, as well. This uh, f of x equals uh, x squared limit. So here the x squareds cancel out, and when they do, I have 2xh plus h squared. So uh, I can factor out an h that will leave me with 2x plus h on the top with an h in the bottom. And of course, at this point, we can cancel out the h. The whole point of simplifying this was eventually get it to this point where we can cancel out that common factor. And then uh, you'd be left with the limit of 2x plus h. So at that point, we can just let h go to 0. And we just get the limit, of course, is 2x. And so that's kind of what I'd be looking for uh, when you're typing a problem. Again, uh, the actual problem here that you're doing is x cubed on this particular problem. But that's what I'd be looking for is that work. Right, as far as the cubing part, if you want to multiply that out and then just type in the result, that's fine. You don't have to write every single step out. Just enough so that it's clear that you have used this process rather than uh, just doing the, the shortcut for uh, x cubed. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for as far as typing it in. Again, if you prefer to write it out by hand and take a screenshot and email that to me, uh, that's fine too. Uh, either way is fine. So if you're going to type it in, though, this is how you're using it, uh, and you're doing that using the uh, little equation editor. So again, that's uh, right up here. You click Insert Formula, and it'll pull up that menu for you. Uh, if you click the little uh, icon there, it pulls up the symbols. You can click More Symbols. They're all right there for you to use to type in. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Uh, as far as the work uh, for problems like this. Again, if you have other questions, uh, please uh, ask. Uh, I'll be happy to try to explain it a little bit clearer. Other than that, um, have a good day.